Hello dear students, welcome in the MSBTE's e-content of environmental studies. It is MSBTE lead study at your doorstep. I am Swati Ingre, course expert, lecturer, NIT Polytechnic, Nagpur. Today in unit number 2, energy resources, we are going to cover the topic natural resources. Course outcome. Select alternative energy resources for engineering practices. Unit outcome list various natural resources. The learning objective. After viewing this video, students can list various natural resources. From concept map, you will understand the content of today's video. Today, we are going to cover the different types of natural resources that are forest resources, water resources, land resources, mineral resources, energy resources. So, let us start today's video that is natural resources. First we will see what is resources. Anything which is useful to man or can be used to produce a useful thing can be referred as resources. For example, rocks, minerals, soil, rivers, plant and animals. Then. What are natural resources? Resources that are drawn directly from the nature and used without any modifications are called as natural resources. For example, air, water, minerals, all these things we get from the nature and we directly utilize it. So, the first type of natural resources is forest resources. We will see the definition of forest. Forest is an area with a high density of trees together with other plants covering a large area of land. Forests are home to 50 to 90 percent of the earth species. These forests produce innumerable material goods which are very very useful to human beings. Then what are the functions of forest resources? There are three important functions. The productive functions protective functions and regulative functions. Let us see one by one. Productive function. Plant gives us various products like timber, bamboos, food, essential oil, latex, medicine, etc. which have a good commercial value. Protective functions. Plants means forest protects the environment in different ways like conservation of soil and water, prevention of drought, protection against wind, cold, radiation and it also absorbs the noise and hence control the noise pollution. Then regulative function, it regulates different activities like absorption, storage and release of gases, water, mineral elements means controls the food chain. Then the second type of natural resources are water resources. As we all know, earth is known as a blue planet because 71% of the earth's surface is covered with water. About 97% of the earth's water is strong saline means it is present in the sea. It is salt water and only 3% is fresh water. When we talk about fresh water, 70% of the water is present in the form of glaciers means in the form of ice and 29% of water is present as a underground water and 1% is present in the rivers and lakes. From this it is clear that only 1% is pure and usable water means water is very very precious and we have to use it very carefully. Then let us see the importance of water. Water is an essential natural resource for sustaining life. Water is one of the most important substance on the earth. If there is no water then there would be no life on the earth. All plants and animals must have water to survive. So, water is a renewable but limiting resource, hence we have to use it very very carefully. Then what are the uses of water? Apart from drinking, water have many applications like agricultural uses. In agriculture, it is used for irrigation means watering the plants. 
industrial uses in different industries water is used as a solvent as a cooling agent heating agent and many more household uses in home we use water for different purposes like cleaning washing bathing making food etc recreational uses as we all know we enjoy a lot in the water park and that use is called as recreational use then the third type of natural resources are land resources land is among the most important natural resources it covers up only 29% of the earth surface land is a naturally occurring finite resource it provides the base for survival of living beings it holds everything that constitute terrestrial ecosystem then what are the uses of land resources there are different uses it is used as agricultural land agricultural land is typically the land devoted to agriculture it is the land capable of being plowed and used to grow the crops it is used as habitat for animals and plants forest is a habitat for many plants and animals because it provides a suitable environment for them then industrial and commercial area commercial area is generally reserved for businesses like offices retail stores restaurants etc then the next use is it is used as a residential area residential area means the land used as a permanent residence such as house apartment nursing home schools child care facility etc then the next very important use of land resources is that it is used as a waste disposal area called as landfills proper solid waste collection and disposal is important for the protection of the public health safety and environmental quality generally the garbage which is collected from the city is dumped away from the city in a special type of area which is called as landfill then the next use is mineral sources land resources provides us very very important resource that are minerals it accelerates the industrial and economic development of country this is land resources then the next type of resources are mineral resources let us see what is mineral minerals are naturally occurring in organic crystalline solids with characteristic properties but these minerals are exhaustible means if we don't use it carefully then one day will come when there will be no minerals on the earth then what are the types of minerals there are two types of mineral that is metallic minerals and non metallic minerals let us see examples metallic minerals bauxite it is the mineral from which we get aluminium hematite it is the mineral from which we get iron then cuprite siderite and many more non metallic minerals for example coal it is very very important because from this we can generate the power that is electricity limestone marble granite sandstone salt phosphate all these non metallic minerals are generally used for the construction and different type of purposes then what are the uses of minerals very very important uses development of industrial plants and machinery it is used in generation of energy that is coal lignite uranium are generally used for the generation of electricity then construction housing and settlements it is used for making the defense equipments weapons armaments because it is very very strong then it is used for making the communication tools like telephone wires cables electronic devices etc and very very important and interesting also use is it is used for making the jewelry you all know that gold silver platinum copper these all metals are generally used for making the jewelry then the last type of resource is energy resources then the substance from which we produce energy are known as energy sources we need energy for our day to day life actually for each and every work we requires the energy the energy we use are of two broad categories renewable energy and non renewable energy let us see one by one first renewable sources of energy 
the energy sources are continuously replenished at a constant rate means they are not exhaustible they can be regenerated according to our requirement then what are the examples the solar power energy obtained from sunlight hydro power is the energy obtained from the water flow wind energy is the energy obtained from the flow of air tidal energy is the energy obtained from the sea tides geothermal energy is the energy obtained from the interior heat of the earth surface and biogas is the energy obtained from the biomass then second type of sources of energy are non renewable sources of energy these sources of energy are known as fossil fuel and this took millions of years to form and cannot be regenerated in a matter of year from definition it is clear that these are exhaustible then what are the examples the examples are coal petroleum natural gas then what are the major key takeaways about the natural resources the knowledge of natural resources is very essential to understand its applications global need and future demands once you understand the importance of natural resources you will understand its need of conservation let us see the summary what we learned today Today we have studied the different types of natural resources that are forest resources water resources land resources mineral resources and energy resources these all are the references for the today's video content and at last thank you all have a nice day happy learning keep learning and now let's let's have a quiz <coughs> 